Just amazing, isn't it, Lu yeah. Zin? Well, let's go to Yuan Garden in Shanghai, which is one of the most popular places to celebrate the Lantern Festival. Absolutely, and let's cross our reporter Xi Mengqi to learn some of the traditions there. Hi, Mengqi. The night is still young, but it is already bustling as we can see with the holiday vibes. What's it like over there? Well, Luisa and uh, Julian, first of all, a happy Lantern Festival to both of you. Now, this is not the best weather we can have. Shanghai has been having this light rain for the past two days, and it has dampened the festivities for a bit. But as you can see, there are still quite a lot of people braving the rain to celebrate the day, to celebrate the Lantern Festival here at Yuyuan or the Yuyu Garden. The garden is a little oasis in downtown Shanghai. Um, uh, it's, and from this vantage point, you can see uh, the, a juxtaposition of the classical Chinese architecture against uh, some of Shanghai's most iconic skyscrapers. So it's not a difficult thing to see why it's become a favorite place for domestic and foreign tourists alike. And the garden itself has 400, uh, more than 400 years of history, dating back to the Ming Dynasty. Um, and the Lantern Fair here is also listed as a national cultural heritage, drawing millions of visitors each year. But this year, because of the pandemic, there are lots, uh, a lot less tourists. But for the locals, even the rain is not a reason to stop them from coming over to enjoy the Lantern Fair. Early, I talked to some of them to see what the day means to them. Take a listen. So Now, you guys might be wondering what the Lantern Fair is really like here. Now, you guys might be wondering what the Lantern Fair is really like here. Um, so, at the Central Plaza, there is a golden bull installation, a lantern installation, as this is the year of the bull. And, and along the bull, uh, uh, it, the bull is featured alongside a family of five, symbolizing the Chinese family's wish for a better and happier new year. And then there will also be a light show uh, projected onto the facades of the buildings featuring um, some, some of China's most famous tourist attractions such as the Tiananmen Square in Beijing and also uh, showcasing some of China's achievements through the years. And here at the Zigzag Bridge there will also be a performance. So really there's quite a lot to see. But for those of our audience who are not quite familiar with the Lantern Festival, this is the last day of the Spring Festival holiday. So really for a lot of us, for a lot of Chinese people, this means the last chance for them to spend time with their family, uh, to enjoy this you know, reunion time, and also to get prepared to embrace the new year. Now back to you guys.